guys, today I'm doing a pretty different kind of video from usual, I would say. So usually I do, I know, a lot of like talking head videos and everything, but today I'm doing my first ever like day in a life kind of video where I'm gonna bring you guys around with me today. So it's quite early in the morning. I had to wake up very early, which I gotta say I don't love doing. I'm very much a night owl, but it's for a good cause today myself and my mom and my sister are all going to the National Girlfriends Networking Day, which is being put on by the New Agenda, which is an organization that is basically all about women empowerment. And as a woman in business, as you guys know, I have my academic consulting business, my tutoring, everything that I do for you guys. And basically, because of that, we are going to this conference. We're going to go network with some other fabulous, powerful women gonna hear some amazing speakers and I'm gonna vlog the whole thing so hopefully I can take you guys with me all day. I'm gonna vlog as much as I can and definitely subscribe if you want to see more videos like this in addition to my more normal kinds of videos as well and be sure to like and comment. Let me know if you want to see more day in the life videos, if you like more talking head videos. Just let me know what kind of content you want to see and I promise I will deliver. So let's go. Also, because the grind literally never stops and your girl's gotta hustle, I'm actually gonna be tutoring one of my long-term clients while I'm in the car, and so I'm gonna be on my Mac, just tutoring her over Skype, and yeah, it's gonna be interesting. Hopefully, I'll keep my Wi-Fi connection, but we'll see, so wish me luck. putting that in. I'm driving. She's working. She's tutoring. I am doing nothing. And we're on our way to the new agenda in New York City. A women's networking organization. to the National Girlfriends Networking Day at the Morgan Stanley Building and it's going to be super exciting. Hi. Here's the rest of the family. measured risk is an important thing to take in your career. You need to work hard, absolutely, um, but don't underestimate just how much hard work and that measured risk will take you. Uh, couple that with just trying new things, like just thinking about, hey, what if I do this and just try it? Um, it will pay off and it will be okay. I wish I could go back and tell my 22-year-old self that you have all the time in the world, you just don't know it. And that's okay, but make sure you use your time wisely. Don't try to be someone you're not. So we just finished the panelists. That was awesome. Now we're gonna go get some lunch. Yum. Okay, so we just got done with the conference and we're in the car heading home. Next thing up, we're gonna vote because it's actually the day of the NJ primaries. So go vote guys. And 
Definitely. It was such an amazing experience. The conference, I really liked it. The panel was amazing. They had people in journalism and tech and human rights and politics and everything. And it was just an incredible opportunity to meet some other really fabulous women and network with them. You know, National Girlfriends Networking Day, that's what it's all about. And I feel like it was definitely successful. So I will see you again in a little while. We'll probably be back in New Jersey. Going in to vote, exercising my civic duties. So we just finished voting. Yeah, we had to run over here really quickly just because like we didn't want to get here and like everyone's gonna be here and it's gonna be super crowded. It's like three, I think like three or four, three thirty, something like that. So yeah, we definitely had a madcap rush and I cannot wait to get into some more comfortable clothes. But yeah, it's been a good day, very productive. And then I have my own tutoring sessions with my clients and everyone. So a lot more to do. So on the way home, we ended up stopping to get Dairy Queen. And I know like not healthy at all, but anyway, I'm just gonna like work it off at my two hour martial arts class tonight. So it's okay, I think, kind of. Also, we're eating in the car just because like, I don't know, my whole life is in the car. I was gonna be like, let's go out and eat it. But honestly, I love being in the car. I feel like I'm just always going from one place to the other. But honestly, like hashtag car life, like who doesn't just love hanging out in the car when you don't have to drive, that is. I love being a passenger in a car with my DQ. That's the life. Hey guys, it's a couple days later and I am back in the car on my way to New York City once again. And this time I'm actually gonna be meeting with one of my clients who flew in all the way from Sweden. Oh my gosh. He just got in last night after like an eight hour flight and we're gonna meet up and work on his college application essays and we're gonna have a good time. It's gonna be very productive, gonna be fun. So I can't wait and I will see you guys when we get there. Hey guys, Hello. I'm here with Axel. He's all the way from Sweden. Yeah, I am. And we're at Prim and Jair when we're working on my college application. Yes. <laughs> and he's been working on his music this summer. He sings and he writes songs. He plays guitar and piano and yes. he's amazing. He has yes. so many songs. And I'm gonna go into Ber I'm gonna go into a Berkeley program now, but first I'm gonna try to fix up my common F no not common FSC, but the Columbia specific essays and go shopping a little bit. But after that, we're gonna pursue a lot of music. <laughs> I just want to say one thing. The only reason that I don't have a four level GPA is because of my stupid math and also my geography teacher. I have still not forgiven that teacher. That's not a story. All right. Just each throwing casual shade. Throwing shade on the whole world. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I just finished with Axel and now I'm gonna head home because I have a lot of stuff to do. I have to edit some essays and put together some lists of college stats and just basically do some general tasks for the people I work with and it's gonna be pretty fun and then I'm also going to be filming my next video so you guys are gonna see that. So I'll see you at home. Today I'm going to be walking you guys through the honor section of the common application and I'm going to be going over every one of the honors and awards that I personally included on my college applications and basically describing why I chose to include each one of them and to describe them in the ways that I did, which did end up helping me be accepted to my dream school, Columbia University, where I applied early decision.